Hi gang, Rob here. It's the morning of 1 June 2016 and I've got another from the sharpening bench video for you guys and this is a knife that um, I've been very interested in as time has gone by. Uh, it's by maker Lon Humphrey who produces one at a time hand forged, hand ground custom fixed blades in the good old US of A. He makes them out of 1095 steel. He's got a wide array of natural handle materials. This one I believe is in a spalted maple which is absolutely gorgeous. This by the way is the whitetail model. It's a small hunting knife. Uh, blade length is 3 and 9 16 inches. Uh, I think the handle length is about 4 and 3 16 It's made out of 3 16 stock. Um, Lon forges all his knives. He heat treats all of his knives. He grinds all of his knives. He sharpens all of his knives. He makes all of his own handles. Start to finish, it's all him. And he does them in volume. And they sell, I think this one sells for like the mid 100s, like right around 150 bucks. There's a couple things that make uh, a Lon Humphrey knife recognizable. First of all, um, they say stamped into the flats, the forged flats, Humphrey, that's a good indicator. Also, this is something that happened a little by accident, I guess, as he was prototyping back in the day. This big glob of forged steel in the Ricasso area of the knife, although it looks kind of goofy, when you put it in your hand, oh baby, it's almost like a, a trigger shoe on a gun. It's this big, broad, super comfortable finger guard. Man, is it functional. And it looks kind of cool once you know what it is, especially. Lots of belly on this knife. And uh, you modern folder CNC guys who are watching this video, I know, I know what you're doing. And I, I know what you're thinking if you've looked at uh, online listings for these knives and you've looked at the variety of them available. They're all different. They're crude and they're all different. The grinds sometimes don't really match up from side to side. Uh, this one actually, they, they start pretty symmetrically. Um, but you look at his edges in the, in the pictures on Knifeship Free or on CollectorKnives.net and you go, what the heck's going on? You know, widths of edge bevels vary wildly. Um, some of them will have harpoon swedges, some of them won't. Just kind of whatever the steel says to Lon when he's making them, that's what he does with them. And uh, it's sort of a uh, life is like a box of chocolates situation. Now I was a little concerned, and really the reason I haven't pulled the trigger on one of these, I've seen his edges vary wildly. I mean wildly. Uh, and I was concerned on how well I could sharpen them and make them look right. And th this one was uh, from Lon. It, it really wasn't close. Uh, bevel widths from side to side and how the tip was done. The, the sharpening notch needed to be enlarged a little bit on this one. Um, but you know what? I mean, it's not... I did not achieve perfect symmetry visually. But it's pretty close. And my goodness, is it sharp. You know, the knife is kind of wedgy. It goes from 3 sixteenths down to, oh, it's kind of chunky behind the edge. It's probably 40 thousandths. Sharpened at 17 degrees per side secondary bevel. So, you know, it's not a super slicer, but... Oops. I ran out of blade. Not a super slicer, but it is sharp. And that's a function of well heat treated 1095. Just a great, great wood steel. You know, if you're a collector of uh, bark rivers and fiddlebacks and 
things like that and you kind of have a hankering for something a little more rustic in your collection with some soul and some personality this might be for you a little large for a uh, for an EDC fixed blade I think and a little heavy I think these what they say they weigh about four ounces this feels a little heavier than that uh, another concern I had just looking at pictures was this handle you know it's it's kind of skinny and it's kind of round I thought I would have a, experienced a lot of torquing in the hand but uh, for some reason the way the butt broadens and the way that the last two fingers sort of anchor it I don't find that to really be an issue um, one thing it does not excel at is a sort of forward pinch grip you almost have to come all the way up onto the blade to feel like you're in control of it in that grip which I, you know that's not necessarily a bad thing you know you could come way forward for working in a in a chest cavity of an animal they're kind of cool they come in a uh, pouch style leather sheath uh, this one belongs to my customer Chris in Texas he carries it in one of these back pocket sheaths so that's how that would look just a really cool knife and you don't, they don't break the bank for what you get I thought you guys would be interested to see that that's all for this one grace to you and peace my friends from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ and remember the word and Lon's white tail are sharp